a very small vlog about the developments regarding the very simple and I mean very simple oscilloscope circuit. Uh, this is more or less the uh, say basic setup and of course uh, no one knows where all these wires go to anyway and that's a reason why I only call this a vlog so uh, say first ID about how to make that uh, uh, oscilloscope further say to a further stage anyway um, it's important perhaps to tell that I've now connected all the plates via a resistor of 120 kilo ohm to ground and ground is in this case zero so there are different voltages that can be uh, made realized opposite to ground both negative and positive voltages that's very important when you make such a scope uh, it, it could be a very difficult issue and especially when you found, find here for instance that the the waveform the sweep only goes to half of the uh, half of the screen and perhaps another issue could be that you cannot move say the line here upwards and downwards and uh, more to the left and more to the right etc et so here is say the kind of uh, setup to uh, make that work there are in fact two potentiometers here is one of one mega ohm and here is another one of one mega ohm and I did many many experiments and I found and that's of course completely logical um, that I had to connect the horizontal line out of the standard power supply approximately 40 volts AC via two capacitors otherwise um, they uh, say that voltage out of the, the power supply here made it impossible to move the line here from the left to the right etc etc and I've done this experiment say approximately 15 years ago so I had to find it out again anyway um, I will show how it works at the moment the horizontal line is driven out of this power supply AC approximately 30 volts that's here so here there's 40 volts uh, working and here there is approximately 10 volts working out of the uh, signal generator but the most important things that I wanted to tell is how to move the line of such a scope to the upper side or the lower side or the left side or the right side and when you want to do that experiment like I told use capacitors here capacitors to drive the signals on the horizontal and the vertical plates so both plates need need capacitors otherwise it could be say that static uh, or not static but certain uh, yes static voltages uh, are able to drive the line up or down or in the worst way uh, it doesn't work and that's very important so out of the signal generators when you use such such a tube could be that the 
there is a, a fixed voltage that makes it impossible to move the when you do these experiments by the way of course that mo that makes it more or less impossible to uh, move the dot on the screen from the left to the right and the right to the left etc etc so anyway that was more or less all to tell so keep the 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 voltages on the plates separated in DC terms when I talk about say uh, giving AC voltages to the plates but on the other hand uh, to move the dot on the screen you need DC voltages inside that tube and here is a screwdriver and I will now show that that works so here you can see that you can move the line on the screen when I turn that potentiometer here and I will surely give the schematic in the future when everything is works okay and perhaps interesting to show when I switch all the generators off this is the most important thing where it all happens that is moving the dot on the screen with the help of a potentiometer a horizontal or this is the horizontal way to move the dot on the screen and of course when the uh, deflection voltage is higher the dot will move much more to the left or much more to the right Anyway, this is the potentiometer that makes the dot on the screen move in the uh, vertical way. So here I have made here this potentiometer. You can see that it slightly moves. And I think that's enough for a simple oscilloscope. So that you can move the dot approximately to this position. Anyway, let's, important to tell, by the way, uh, this dot is not very sharp, but when I uh, switch on the horizontal and the vertical generators, it gets more sharp. That's of course important to know. Uh, I made some minor changes in the focus and the brightness circuit and I will surely give the schematic in the future and here again it is perhaps interesting to see that we can move this uh, signal this signal here to the to the right side and to the left side that's in a certain way very important when you want to look at waveforms and when the sawtooth wave is not perfect I mean in terms of linearity this also can help uh, though this will help only a little bit because I cannot move the dot very far out of the screen anyway it works and well and here the from the left to the, from the downside to the upper side somewhat and of, of course you know that with normal oscilloscopes uh, you can move the dot say to the very upper position and to the lowest position as possible and there's even on such a scope there is a kind of dot finder that you can push to bring the dot back uh, on the position where you can see it. But anyway, um, this is a very, very simple oscilloscope. And I 
surely not going to pay much attention to that uh, because it's, it's uh, say, good enough to have here the line on the screen, not perfectly in the middle, a little bit uh, to the downside and here the waveforms will build up. So anyway, thanks for watching, it's only a vlog. Uh, I want to uh, say publish the circuit as soon as possible. And well, the idea perhaps interesting to tell is that I have changed the high voltage generator somewhat here, here with the help of a 470k potentiometer so that the high voltage on the voltage divider inside the tube um, can be changed somewhat and it's very very important to tell that uh, when you change the high voltage between the cathode and the anode of such a oscilloscope tube uh, I have to stop in in a very substantial way. I hear my telephone. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>